I'm Don Nelson. Here's what you can expect on your top headlines. Looking for a job? Well, jobs can be hard to find, even harder if you live in smaller communities. That's why the Idaho Department of Labor is changing the way it helps job seekers. Knowing that a lot of people looking for work cannot afford to travel sometimes long distances to their local Labor Department office for help, the state is now setting up part-time offices at government buildings in outlying areas to make it easier for job seekers to get the resources they need. We intend to have a very strong presence in rural Idaho. Um, this is about increasing the Department of Labor's footprint, not decreasing it. We want to be in more places and provide better services. For more information on where the new offices are located and the days and time that they are open, just go to our website at sixonyourside.com. Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. Really turning out to be a nice afternoon. Beautiful fall day. Wind is on the light side. That's making 56 degrees in Boise feel a lot milder than that. It's close to 60 in Ontario. These temperatures down a couple degrees, but without the wind, beautiful conditions continue. 40s in the mountains. Once the sun goes down, we'll keep that clear sky. It will get cold and much colder overnight tonight or continued. We'll see that drop in temperature. However, big ridge of high pressure is slowly inching its way in our direction. And what that means is we'll start to get some of that milder weather working its way on in. I suggest you bringing a strong wind in the colder temperatures a little further to the east, but eventually this cold air to the north is just going to buckle. High pressure is going to move back in the other direction and cold air is going to drop straight down from the north and that is going to bring a big change for the weekend. Look at tomorrow though, an amazing day. The breeze will pick up in the morning and that'll make it a little chilly. So 38 degrees in the morning. That's actually the warmest low temperature in my extended forecast. We hit 66 in the afternoon. That's 10 degrees warmer than today, but a big drop down to 52. The wind will pick up blustery colder conditions moving in as the week Weekend progresses and by Sunday morning we're in the, the upper 20s, low to mid 20s. In fact, there could even be some teens in the Treasure Valley in the beginning of next week, a cold, dry week ahead. I'll have another update coming up right here a little bit later.